Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing the solving right triangles. So in this lesson, we're going to apply our previous lesson, the Sokato one. So in this lesson, you will encounter solving right triangles and we have three cases. We have the case one, if the given is the reference angle and a sign. So, if that is the case, first, we need to determine whether the given side is the opposite side or the adjacent side to our reference angle. And of course, determine whether it is the hypotenuse. Case number two, given a hypotenuse and a leg. So, the leg could be the opposite side or the adjacent side. And... Case number three, given two legs. So both legs must be given, but the reference angle is not. So, starting our case one, two, and three, first, you need to master our Sokatoa. Because Sokatoa stands for the sine that is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. Then tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Please go to our playlist to um, watch the video tutorial about this circuit. Now let's have our problem number one. For example, number one, if measure angle B is equal to 80 and the hypotenuse C is equal to 5 units, Find the measures of the following. A side B, B side A, and letter C, measure angle A. So let us first illustrate our triangle. So we have our right triangle. Then this will be our 90 degrees. Now we have given. Measure angle B, that is AB, and the hypotenuse C is equal to 5 units. So this is our angle C. Then side C, according to our given, that is 5 units. So C is equal to 5. Okay? So let's say this is our A, and this is our vertex B. So angle A and angle B. Then opposite to angle B is side B, and opposite to angle A is side A. Okay, that would be the given. Now, measure angle B is 80. So 80 degrees. So that is 80 degrees. Reviewing our case 1, 2, and 3, it falls under our case number 1. Given the reference angle, one angle, which is our angle B, and a side, which is the hypotenuse. Okay? Let's solve letter A. So after solving, let us first analyze what will be our opposite side and adjacent side. So angle B is our reference angle. So opposite to it, the opposite side will be angle B. This is the opposite side. C is the hypotenuse that is given, and A is the adjacent side. Okay. To find side B, so we need to have the opposite, and the given is hypotenuse. Okay. Hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse that falls under our sine. So we have sine, so solution, letter A. We're going to use opposite over hypotenuse, so that is sine. Our reference angle is 80, so sine 80 is equal to Opposite, so let us label B over C. So we have 
sine AT is equal to our B is unknown, B over our C, that is given phi. Now cross multiply, so that is, we have our denominator here, which is 1, so B times 1, we have B is equal to, cross multiply, that is 5 sine 80 degrees. So, 80 degrees. Now, enter in your calculator. We can just simply press 5 sine 80. So, press 5, then the function sine, then 80. 5 sine 80, then press equal sine, that is 4.92. 4.92 we have here our units it will be units 4.92 units next letter b side a we're going to find side a so 80 is our reference angle to find side a we need the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse, that will fall under our CAA. So cosine, cosine 80 is equal to adjacent, so adjacent A over hypotenuse is C. Now substitute. We have cosine 80 degrees is equal to A over our C is 5. The same step, cross multiply, so that will give us A is equal to, so why A? Because A times 1, that is A. Now we have 5 cosine 80 degrees. Finally, to get the value for A, just press in your calculator, 5 cosine 80. That is 5 cosine 80, 0 0.87. So, 0 0.87. So let us check. Cosine AP times 5, 0.87 oh, units. And last, to get C. Measure angle A. Measure angle A. You can just solve mentally. So if this is 90, then we know that the sum total of our right angle is 180. So 180 minus 90, that is 90 minus 80, 10. So we have here 10 degrees. So measure angle A is 10 degrees. So we're done in answering example number one. And that falls under case number one. Now let's have our second example. Now let's have our example number two. In this example, we have the given illustration. We have the triangle M A R. So angle A here is our hypotenuse, uh, is our right angle, so that is 90 degrees, and opposite to it is our hypotenuse. In this case, we have two given legs. So that means we don't have our reference angle, so that will fall under our case number three. 
both legs must be given, but the reference angle is not. So, if our reference angle is here, or if you want to get the measure of angle R, you want the measure of angle R, this will be our opposite, and this is our adjacent. If you want to get the measure of angle M, this will be the opposite, then 8 feet will be the adjacent side. Now we're going to find the measure of uh, angle M, angle R, and the measure of the hypotenuse, or A. Let's start with letter A. We're going to find the measure angle M. Okay. So we're going to find M. This will be our reference angle. That means this will be our opposite side and 8 feet will be our adjacent. Okay. Now, opposite and adjacent, that is given. So in our Sokatoa, opposite and adjacent, that will fall under our function tangent. So we have tangent, tangent theta, let's say this is our reference angle, so let's name it theta, so theta, is equal to opposite, which is 5. Okay, let us write opposite over adjacent. Now substitute, we have tangent theta is equal to our opposite is 5 over our adjacent is 8. So we have tangent theta is equal to 5 divided by 8. 5 divided by 8, that is 0 0.625. Okay, 5 over 8 is 0 0.625. Now, to get the value of our angle, so in this case we have theta, just press in your calculator, 0 0.625, then shift tangent. Shift tangent, that is 32. Point zero six. So estimately thirty two point zero six degrees. That would be the measure of angle M thirty two point zero six degrees. So approximately thirty two point zero six. So we're going to use approximately. Okay. So another thing is if you want to solve, just press 5 divided by 8, equal sign, then shift immediately, then tangent. So 5 over 8, shift, tangent, equal sign. So 32.0. Uh, 32.005 here, so that should be 32.01. So if you want three decimal places, it will be 0 0.005. Just write it into three decimal places. 0, 0, 0.005. Next, letter B. We're going to find measure angle R. So this will be our reference angle. In this case, 8 feet will be our opposite, then 5 feet will be our adjacent. adjacent. So, opposite and uh, adjacent, we're going to use again the function tangent. So, tangent, let's say we're going to name it alpha, tangent alpha. Alpha is equal to, opposite is 8 over 5. So, alpha is equal to five, uh, 8 divided by 5, then shift tangent. That is 57.995 degrees. 57.995 degrees. So, 
that would be the measure angle R approximately 57.995 minutes. Now, if you want to check, the sum must be 180. So we have 90 plus angle M is 32.005 plus angle R is 57.995. That should be 180. Another thing, if you want to get the measure of angle R, just use our theorem, the sum total of the triangle is 180, so 180 minus 90, 180 minus 90, that is 90, minus 32.005, that will give you the same answer, 57.995 degrees. Okay. So you can use any technique to get our unknown angle. And of course, you should come up with the same answer. And let us see measure of side A. So given the legs, to find the hypotenuse, since that is a right triangle, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So in our theorem, we have A squared. So in this case, A is our hypotenuse. So we have X squared plus Y squared is equal to Z squared. So let us use this one. Our legs measures 5 squared plus 8 squared is equal to A squared. A is the hypotenuse. 5 squared is 25 plus 80 squared, 64 is equal to 80 squared. Now add 25 plus 64, that is 89. So A squared, right? 89, 25 plus 64, to make sure, 89. Now, Finally, to get value of A, we need to extract the square root. A is equal to the square root of 89 is 9.43. We have our unit, which is feet, 9.43 feet. We're done in answering example number two. Again, that falls under case number two. So, that's dissolving right triangles. So, if you have another examples or problems in your homework, so maybe that will fall under case 2, case 1, or case 3. Then, just use our Sokatoa. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.